Hey, good afternoon, friends. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys some of the um, fertilizers that I use on our garden garden plants. But first, I've got to get some carrots so my wife can cook our supper tonight. We've uh, I've already pulled up a few for today's dinner. A nice handful of carrots there for us. But um, get those into her, and then we'll we'll get on with the fertilizing in the garden. All right, so as you guys know, we've had a ton of rain, and um, normally I would use just uh, just our compost tea and uh, sea mist to fertilize all of our garden plants, but everything is so wet, I really don't want to add any more moisture than I have to to the soil. So today I'm going to use a couple of my other favorites for dry fertilizers. One is, an, uh, they're all organic, but one is um, uh, a general garden food, and the other one's tomato and pepper. And the other one's kind of a fertilizer, is dried molasses, so we'll talk more about that. Um, first, I have from garden from Rabbit Hill Farm, this Organics Garden Food. It's a 5-6-3, so 5% nitrogen, 6% phosphate, and 3% potash. <coughs> On the tomato and pepper through, it's a 3-5-6. For tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, cucumbers, watermelon, squash, peas, and other fruiting plants. Um, so it has 3% nitrogen, 5% phosphates, and 6% potash or potash. Both of these, both uh, fertilizers, the pepper and tomato, and <coughs> the um, general garden food is spread the general garden food is a pound for 20 or 30 foot row or a quarter cup for every 12 inches of plant height and the tomato and pepper food is basically the same thing it's a quarter cup uh, at planting and a, about um, a quarter a cup 21 every 21 days or so really good stuff I've had really great luck with it now dried molasses we buy and dried molasses it's more about feeding the soil itself than the plants. The dried molasses is, um, helps feed the organisms in the soil. It's one of the, <coughs> excuse me, one of the foods for them. Uh, you can see all the animals on here. It's also used as a livestock feed. But in this case, we're going to be using it today for uh, nutrients for the soil. And um, we spread this sort of like just a general fertilizer. Uh, this is a 50-pound bag. and. Uh, we'll do probably all uh, all 58 of our rows, so uh, we'll just get that out. So I usually do this by hand. I just scoop some out with a cup, and there's a quarter cup measure. I'll put that around each plant. So I'm gonna go get that done. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. Don't mind selling out or playing cover song. We're supposed to get rain again um, both uh, tomorrow and Saturday. So it's another reason, again, I just don't want to put any more moisture in the soil or on the plants than they've already had. So I'm going to fertilize them with a dry fertilizer. Sprinkling a quarter of a cup. And say each one of these tomato cages, and then I'll do the same for the peppers. It's in my heart, I hear speak. And on my face, I feel you breathe. Next to me, two by land, by air, by sea. And that is how it's supposed to be. Now, and that much I can see. I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shell And how rare it is that I stay up past twelve In the backyard we are going to start a garden that don't sound mighty good, I beg your pardon Cause in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe 